Welcome to Lexington, where the sun shines bright literally and figuratively on their old Kentucky home and the big blue nation ready to get behind these wildcats in this one. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on a team from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kentucky ready to go toe meets leather and start this game. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be knocked down. The Cardinals return team will have that offense backed up. It's a basketball state. There's no question about that. But when they square off for the Governor's Cup, oh, football is big time. Oh, it's so beautiful, too. And usually interconference rivalry game, too. It just it means a lot to these fans, and the bragging rights are rich. Yeah, you're right, guys. It's not just horse racing in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. They play a big-time football game here as well. I've actually called this game before. These fans get hyped. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. They go to the ground. Finds a little bit of space. Gets three to the 22. These two first met in 1912 and both have a rich history of stars. John Unitas, Lamar Jackson from Louisville, Bear Bryant, Tim Couch at Kentucky through the years. The rivalry is a great one, fellas. That, that's a great list of people to think about in this rivalry. Obviously, it runs deep and the uniforms are solid, right? Like bright red, blue on the other side. Just a nice color clash. Yeah, visually and optically, you're right. This is a very good-looking rivalry game, but it's also good on the field. There's a lot of talent assembled here today. And the Cardinals with the first and ten. Back to pass. It's Shuck. Going deep. Pulls it in on the left. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. And how about taking a big chunk out of this defense on the opening drive? And with the speed they have on the perimeter, Reese, no doubt. They want to come out here and test this secondary, test these DBs. And they know they've got the QB with the arm talent to get the ball there. That's a great start for this offense. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll go to the ground. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Brooks. Really confident throw and catch there. Big kick up and they have a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They'll throw it from the red zone. Let's it fly. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB.
Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. The Wildcats pulled out a thriller the last time these two met. And they were so happy after that win because they dug down deep and made the plays late in the game that they needed to make in order to win. Yeah, and the Governor's Cup, it seems like it's always a fun game. There's always some kind of twist and turns to it, but Kentucky definitely executed and took care of business against Louisville last time. Defense is going to have their hands full we'll trying to get this guy on the ground, man. He's got some serious moves once he has the ball in his hands. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to them, and it forced the incompletion. Third and short from the 49 is this four-down territory. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Unleashes one deep. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they execute and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Scanning the field, it's shot. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. The Cardinals will punt it away on fourth down. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He gets a block. Coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Well, that 
unfortunate with that incompletion, the quarterback and his intended target not on the same page. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. It's a draw. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Complete in the middle. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as they get him down at the 37. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. He wants to throw. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. We'll see what the QB does moving forward. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They want to just keep throwing it. He's got it. Makes the grab over the defense, and they are threatening now down at the 15. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Pulls and fires complete. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. For wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they try to go with the draw out of the shotgun, but just way too much penetration allowed up front. That defensive line just took that play over. They get off the rock really fast, get in the backfield. The offensive linemen are supposed to push them upfield. Quarterback's got to sell it. Not anything really in that play in sync, and it doesn't go anywhere. Between the uprights, it's good. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Brown. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. And a sack all the way back at the five. Well, the defense has the opponent backed up in their own end, and they are pinning their ears back, getting after the quarterback. You see the athleticism and the speed they have up front as they're able to notch that sack.
They'll come to the line and try to get out of this mess on second down from the five. Looking for a man. It's shut. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody at the back end expecting throw. That's how you force incompletions and force four numbers. And the Cardinals decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Bringing it back, it's Brown. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step too here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. He'll set up to throw. Using the quick game. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Ball's at the 26, it's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Now the play fake. They're working that left side. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. I love the start for this quarterback. Third down, third down, obviously money down. You've got to have success, but to have success early, now it opens up everything. Like, we trust him. He's got a rhythm going. He's feeling good, and he got a lot of confidence. And the Wildcats will snap it on first and ten. From the gun, the running back has it. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll try the run. Got some room in into the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky. And I like the running back's fish. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is. Gets in the end zone, gets six. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Dropping back, it's shut. Pressure coming. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. 
Good play by the defense. Way to wrap them up. Way to know where the sticks are. Now put you in a successful position for third down. Now you can break out the front packages, the blitzes, putting more speed, more little fast guys on the field. On third down, going up top. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. Running it back, it's Brown. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. One final play before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. Ball in the air, intercepted. A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. been lighting up their stat line. First down to start the drive after the break. He'll start this drive firing. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack, even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away and use those long arms to create the turnover. Kentucky has it back and the big blue offense takes the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Kentucky will come to the line with a first and goal. He wants to throw it. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wildcats. And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing it because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops forward and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. 
and you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You gotta make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. Muscling ahead on third and short. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was and they stopped him short. And a lot of times you want those big plays, you want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. He's got great speed. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another. He's going to throw deep right side. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled with taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Leaves it with the back. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guide so that he can go get the first down. They'll give it to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Uh, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. They'll try to run for it. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Oh, he missed it. No good. Guys, a double-digit lead is good, but more would have been better. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Back to throw. It's shot. Time to take a shot. Makes the grab inside the 30. Touchdown, Louisville! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game.
PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Fielded in the end zone. It's Brown. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Paul, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Now on second down. He'll keep it himself. Got enough for the first down. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And offenses will gash you if you don't find a way to mess up the communication. When they run the read option, you got to do a good job of changing the looks and sometimes being aggressive and blitzing, sometimes sitting back so that quarterback doesn't know what he's getting. He knows what he's getting here, and that's why he gets the good gain and chews up all that yardage. Out of the gun, the inside give. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The Wildcats have this offense rolling. Movement here from the tight end. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play, but what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. He wants to pass it on second down. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Had to throw it before he wanted. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Riley. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? They recover their own fumble. Somehow, who knows how they got that thing back. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I gotta get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. 
I love the job here by the linebacker. He just kind of floats and he's shuffling and he's waiting to see which way the quarterback's going to go with the football. Not able to snag it out of the air, but hey, batting it away. It's a big time play. And the Cardinals will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Running it back, it's Brown. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Got the back over the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. They'll go to the counter. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. behind the line it's key nice pitch and catch there and they'll have enough for the first down it's the two minute warning and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break this Kentucky offense really moving the ball quickly going up top on first down Fires deep toward the end zone. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. The bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball landing out of bounds. They'll line up for a second down play. After the incompletion, they go back up top. This time it's complete. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. I mean, first down is that alone. Just on this drive, the defense, they keep this up. They're going to get worn out, continue to have to play more and more guys. they got to do something to change this. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw it again. Going for six. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. Bringing it back. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Comes out throwing on first down. That's caught. It's Brooks. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on second and short after the first down completion. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. 
And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fella, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And the ball is intercepted. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already gotten the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Timing has to be so good. You're throwing at his own defense over the middle of the field. The ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. He's looking to throw it. It's complete. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Lost to throw on first down. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. Field goal is good. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the return man reaches the end of the line and down he goes. First half in the books, time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, all the tradition and bad blood between these programs it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in the fight for the Governor's Cup. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this fight between Louisville and Kentucky plays out. The Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. 
and finally the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long, different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. He makes the connection, and they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback. You're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The Wildcats will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. Well, the defense just did the quarterback a massive favor. That's the nicest thing they've done to him all game. They've already picked him off twice. That should have been number three. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. And the Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. To the air on first down. Fires to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Handoff to the lone back. Brought down at the 26-yard line after a pickup of 10 yards on the play, and it'll be a first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's key. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time. But if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. And the defense gets home, yippee ki -yay, at the 35. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, Rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him struggle through the uprights. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it out. It's Turner rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone. Did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To throw, it's shot. Finds his tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. Well, it's a nice job, too, the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked up. And the Cardinals send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in. Nothing but green ahead. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. Uh, the old one gets an atom boy for that play. How about the time they gave their quarterback? Beautiful pocket. They allowed him to survey the field, find his open guy. This offensive line, they are gelling early. That big play flipped the field. Now they go to work from just outside the red zone. They'll run it on the counter. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. There's just so much for this defense to think about. They've had strong side runs thrown. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Off play action. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Throws to the wideout. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Wildcats! Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. He's looking to pass. He's got it. Two-point try is good as they build on this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. First play of this drive comes from the 14-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Brings it down on the right side. Hit the afterburners, kid. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Cardinals! A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And here's the return. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounds, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Dan, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Second down coming up. They want to run it left here. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Third down and short, they choose to pass it. They got the whole playbook open because it's third and short. On their own side of the field, you could tell the QB wasn't going to make a mistake. He did not want to force the ball, make a bad decision. He throws the football away, lives to fight another down. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. This feels like a pivotal moment. Get the ball back on the punt. You need to put points on the board on this drive. Yeah, it's a sense of urgency right now has got to be high for this offense. Trailing the way they are here, David, they've got to be able to put something together, score some points, and build confidence. Yeah, it's not panic time, but you do want to build that confidence and find something that you can do well to start to build on. I think this offense is starting to figure themselves out a little bit. Trying play action. Finds his man, it's Lacey. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are. And they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and get the sack. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. The holder will spot it about 35 yards out. And it's right down the boulevard. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky has it back and the big blue offense takes the field. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's key. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the return, it's Riley working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking to throw, it's shot. Gets it out quickly. And he goes down right there. That way he's going to lose yardage. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Unloads it left. Complete downfield. The Cardinals will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt looking deep down the right side. Hits him in stride inside the 10. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. They want to throw it. He caught it! They will score! Touchdown, Kentucky! C-A-T-S, Cats, 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 as Kentucky builds this lead. It feels like it's been a fast break on the basketball court here for a while now. Kentucky showing the speed all over the field, pulling away from Louisville. Yeah, taking care of business, taking care of emotions. The battle, obviously, of Kentucky. They're doing everything they need to do. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They're just about 
I'm ready to kick it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make the catch. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. And that defense gets to him and down he goes at the nine. And the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field. And the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Fair catch, called for and made. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. All right, this running back's had all kind of success. Now we're getting later in the game. We've got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And after taking a loss on that last run, a little bit of pressure right now for this offense on their own side of the field. They've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but this is a critical third down that they have to convert. They don't want to give the ball back and put the pressure on their own defense. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes a connection. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Here's the handoff. Keeps the legs moving. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physicaled. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. To the air. It's shut. He's got it. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. The Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. 
out of the gun to give to the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Third and short. Coming from the 34, you wonder if this is four down territory. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Cardinals will keep this drive going. Yeah, and this offense, listen, we're in warp speed, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first downs. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back up. Offense threatening first and 10 from the 31. Use the play fake. Now to throw. It's complete to the left. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. The play action fake. Looking left. Makes the grab. He makes the catch. He's knocked down immediately, but they'll have a goal-to-go -go situation from the eight. Don't you just love the big boys? When the big boys up front do their job and create a great pocket, and the quarterback has time now to survey the field and take shots down the field and make huge plays. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. At this part of the field in the red zone, offensively, you're bringing all these tight ends in the game. You'd like to be more physical at the point of attack. That's why you're bringing the big bodies in, but they couldn't get it done up front, and as a result, it's a negative play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. Pulled down for the tackle. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back into coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. They're going to run it. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cardinals. Lead in the game, and the confidence is building if only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. On to attempt the try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. 75 yards on the touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll try to pop the draw. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down, 
really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. They'll try to get it through the air. Quick completion on the out route. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. This guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that, and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. Quick handoff. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. Stuffed, almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. And that's two really good plays in a row by this defense. So you've come up big, you've forced a third down. One more big stop. Now I can get him to punt the football, give my offense a chance to go down the field and to score some points. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The defense is up against it now, man. You're playing on the road. It's a hostile environment. It's late in the game. Someone's got to step up and make a play. Nice job there knocking that one down for the incompletion. Kentucky will be forced to punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Wants to throw. It's shot. Makes the grab over the middle. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense. And all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go in the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. So can the defense get one more stop, one more time, and hold on to this lead? All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. Hey, and you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best. At that time, they were able to force an incompletion. Back to throw. It's shot. This time it's complete. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already got the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Aggressive versus reckless. It's such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great.
Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense takes the field. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against our big rival to seal the deal I think if you're offense here the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late if you get the first down that's ball game there's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field so let's dial up our best play offensively let's make sure our best players are touching the football here. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Here we are late in the game, and this secondary, they are still covering. They forced the QB to hold on to it, and then he bailed out trying to buy himself more time. And because he couldn't get rid of the football so quickly early, that allowed the pass rush to get to him. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. To the air. It's shot. Trying to get to him. Under heat, and he gets rid of it. There's an example here late in the game. The defense trying to affect the timing of the QB. They brought the blitz, anticipating throw, and he wasn't able to connect. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. A deep throw as the clock winds down. Play till the final whistle. It falls incomplete, and that's the ball game.